Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tour review is going to be another flashlight from Woobin. Uh, they did send me this one out, so I'm going to mark it pay promotion, but that's as far as it goes. They're not paying me to make a video. I'm not making any money off of it. And, and also, they are going to give 20% off if you use the code MM10 and follow the link in the description. But again, I'm not an affiliate with them. It's not going to cause me to make any money. I just told them if they wanted to give a discount code, I, I would put it in here. That way you all could save some money if this is the right flashlight for you. And what we're going to look at today is that X2. Uh, previously, I've looked at the X3. I actually really like this flashlight with the pivoting head. I've got a review for that one if you want to check it out. Uh, but this one's the X2, a little bit bigger, but not much bigger, but really bright in the lumens department as far as what it claims to be. So in this video, I'm going to open the box, show you what you get in the box, show you how it will come to you. And then also I'll show it to you in use as far as the settings on it and things like that. And then again, that's just to help you make the decision if this flashlight might be the right fit for you. That's the goal behind this video. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but maybe what I show you will help you decide that. So let's go ahead and jump into what you get in this box. So as we open up this box, again, going to run you 98 bucks. You get that 20% off discount. So what do you get for that $80 with that discount in this Wubin X2? Their packaging is always fairly similar. It's kind of nice. I really like it. You know, the box opens to where it opens like so. I purchased the F5 light there. I haven't made a review video for that. I bought that myself. And again, the X3 that I got came in very similar packaging as this. You open up the box. The very first thing you're going to see, a picture of the light, a little folder here that contains your user manual, as you can see there. Uh, several instructions in there on how to get through the different modes and things like that. Before I get into the box, I guess, let me show you the back of the box uh, so you can see all the information there and maybe you can, you know, pause it if you want to know about all the different settings of lumens and all those things like that. What I'm really not sure of and I tried to figure out is I'm not sure if the model I have is the Samsung or the, or the OS RAMP9. I don't really know everywhere that I look for the verbiage as far as whether it's on Amazon or on their website, they all say 2500 lumens so i don't know what the difference is between those two and there's nothing in the manual there's nothing on the light for me to know for sure which one of those i have uh, but there's all the information where it's manufactured all the different settings the you know lumens and things like that uh, so again you can pause and check check that out if you want to so inside the box right here you're going to get the flashlight itself and again it's roughly size wise it's three and three eighths inches length this way and then an inch and a half wide this way and then about seven eighths between three quarter and seven eighths inch uh, thick not counting that belt clip has a metal belt clip here that's got a nice little spring to it you know it's going to hold nice it's very similar uh, to that on the x3 except it's actually seems like it's a little bit beefier clip uh, but the one thing i don't like about that is you can't put this like on your hat and wear it backwards the way that it is. It will fit in your pocket nice and all those things, but it will not fit and to where you can use it like as a headlamp if you want to. I always kind of look for that in my lights. It's just more useful to me if I can free up my hands. But again, there it is on the outside. This is the button that you press, that blue there. You can depress that. That's what actually turns that light on and off. But then underneath of that is also where you charge it via USB-C as well. It does say back here on the back side that it has a, if I can get it clear enough, a 2000 milliamp hour battery uh, included inside of that as well. Uh, so again, there's just basically the light. You got three different uh, diodes or however you want to phrase that right there. Then you also get within here a charging cable. Their charging cables are always kind of neat. And the fact that it's really like a lanyard in a way so you could also run this right here through that loop there if you want to and kind of keep it as a tethered option and then this right here unsnaps and that is your charging cable as well so it's USB-C on one end and then this looked a little weird to me I wasn't sure what this was whenever I first got it out but it's really just USB it's just you know different looking than what you're used to that would fit in any wall block you know that you might have uh, you can take and press that in there it has to go in that right way and then you can use it to charge it in that way it does not come with a wall block of any kind though so you do have to provide yourself your own one of these but it does come with that USB-C charging cable that again works kind of double duty as a lanyard as well snaps back in there and then it also comes with this, which is a diffuser. And I'll show you this as well whenever we get into lighting it up. But let me go ahead and I'll go turbo mode here. Slide that on. 
and it kind of gives you that so that maybe you want a red light so instead of this having a red light option by cycling through you can put that on there and it kind of diffuses the light as well i think they're kind of intend for that to be in a camping setting if you want to you know light up your tent in a way that it just isn't going to go crazy killing everybody's eyesight while you're inside that tent so that's what's all in the box that's what you get so now let me go ahead and go outside in the dark i'll show it to you in use and then we'll close this video out so i'm gonna start out with that diffuser on the red diffuser uh this is on low here doesn't show you anything there's the next setting medium high then there's turbo mode and now with that diffuser off here's low mode not really enough to see very much going up to medium high and then here's turbo mode you can kind of see the throw on it so again for a small flashlight pretty decent as far as that goes and again you can triple press it from this point get into strobe triple press it again and then it goes into SOS mode so yeah guys that's the Wubin X2 so uh, again much like my X3 there you can see the size comparison I like the X3 a little bit better because it has that you know spinning head so I can get both angles either straight ahead or turned in my pocket and looking out that way uh, but this one isn't near as bright as what this one is. Uh, but for the size of this and then the body, seems like it's a pretty substantial, you know, metal feel. It's got a nice feel to it as far as it feels like a quality product anyways. Uh, for the amount of lumens that you're getting in that size light, you can see it there in my hand. Probably not bad overall. I will say just something to take in consideration. I have had with the way that this button presses in and out to turn your light on and off, it's kind of puffed out a little bit if you wear it in your pocket in certain instances so if you maybe slide it inside your pocket and have the clip on the outside of your pocket you might have some accidental turn-ons i have had that happen to me a few times using this light but again mm20 uh is a code that you can use with the link in the description get yourself 20 percent off on this light in particular but it may even be on other products of Wubin if you've been looking into them you can try it on that and see you might can get 20 percent off anything i'm not real sure with that so you just have to try it and see that's just i'm passing the information on that they sent me they sent me a discount code i'm just passing it on to you but again hope this video was useful hope it's helpful if this is something you've been looking at or if you've had this light for quite some time uh, you might want to give your feedback down below in the comment section that way when people read it uh, they can use your comments as as another review to kind of you know push them in the right direction but hope it was useful hope it's helpful as always stay safe have a blessed day see you on the next video